Hello there! I am Anwal Sam G. Masangka of 5 SSES. It's been a year since the pandemic has started and we, the students, are not required to go to school. Of course, education must not stop. Hence, the classes and school activities are done online. With that, the YESO and math coordinators are encouraging us to join their school club and organization. But how can we transact to them and fill out the registration form? Aha! We can do it online through Google Forms. But what are the important things that we need to remember in filling out forms? Take note that we need to read each item carefully and follow correctly the given direction. Likewise, be precise in supplying information and make sure to give true and correct information. As much as possible, do not make erasures. If it is a printed form, handle the form with utmost care. Come on, let us register to YesO and Math Clubs using Google Forms. Using the provided link of the Google form, we can view the registration form. Next, fill out all the needed information like first name, middle name, last name, email address, school, physical address, and date of birth. After providing all the needed information, click the submit button to partially finish the registration. In the next part of the form, a table with three columns are provided using Google Spreadsheet. In the first column, write 10 numbers that are divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. Besides these numbers, which is middle column, write 5 examples of useful materials as well as another 5 examples of harmful materials. In filling out the middle column, take note that materials can be considered useful when they serve a purpose. With that, for the useful materials, I listed pencils, books, pictures, erasers, and spoons. On the other hand, materials can be considered harmful when they are made for a certain purpose that can only cause injury when they are not used or disposed properly. On that note, I listed knife, insecticide, bleach, disinfectant, and cutter for the harmful materials. For the first and third column, I listed the following numbers. 428 is divisible by 2, 4, and 8. 354 is divisible by 2, 3, and 6. 392 is divisible by 2, 4, and 8. 657 is divisible by 3 and 9. 576 is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 12. 378 is divisible by 2, 3, 6, and 9. 952 is divisible by 2, 4, and 8. 110 is divisible by 2, 5, 10, and 11. 144 is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 12. 294 is divisible by 2, 3, 6, and 9. So that's it! Thank you for watching this video.